Hello, good morning, and welcome to your practice. My name is Sophie. I'm going to be teaching you yoga today, and this is a pretty quick 15 minute class, perfect for the morning or really any time of the day, just to help you get warmed up and centered and grounded and feeling good for the day. So let's get started in child's pose. Stretch your fingers far out in front of you so that you get a nice stretch through the upper back and the sides of your rib cage. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And a nice release out of the mouth. Breathe in. Let it go. One more time to release any tension fully in and fully out. Rise up onto your hands and knees for tabletop. Drop your belly, lift your chest for cow. Round your spine for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, round and curl, chin into your chest. Again, inhale, exhale. Come back to neutral. Walk your hands all the way forward for puppy pose or heart melting pose. Stay on your fingertips and put your forehead onto the earth. Rise up onto your hands. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Start to pedal it out. So the goal for this next, next 15 minutes is to keep everything really simple, just within our minds, within our breath. I'm trying to simplify before we move into our day. Things might get a little more complicated throughout the day. So as you move through practice today, just remind yourself, simple thoughts, simple thoughts. I'm breathing, I'm moving. I'm on my mat. Look towards the front of the mat, walk your feet forward, lift up halfway, fold forward and then grab onto your elbows for ragdoll. Release your hands down, slowly roll up to stand. Shoulders and head come up last. Reach your arms up to the sky. Grab onto your left wrist and take a side bend to your right. Bend your knees a little. Take your left leg, bring it all the way over to the right side. Straight back behind you and to the right. And you're still bending and your right knee is bent. The stretch goes all the way from your armpit down into your hip. And then come back up to center. Grab onto your right wrist, take a side bend to the left. Bend your knees a little and step over to the left side for a nice big side bend. Come back up to center, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, the hands go down and meet the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right leg all the way back into low lunge. Your fingertips are on the ground. Your back of your heart lifts up. Inhale. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Inhale, bend your left knee. Exhale, straighten the leg. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Stay here with your leg straight and just take a couple of deep breaths. Maybe you undulate the spine, lifting and lengthening and folding a few times. And then bend your knee into low lunge, step to the front of the mat, lift up halfway, fold deeply. Lift up halfway, inhale, exhale, step your left leg all the way back into low lunge. Lift the shoulder blades up to the sky a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten, stay here, take a couple breaths. 
emulating whatever you did on the other side. Bend your right knee, look forward, step to the front of the mat, halfway lift again, and fold. Maybe grab, on to, grab onto the backs of your ankles, shift your weight into your toes, fold deeply. And we'll stand up, reach the arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart, arms down by your sides. Bend your knees, sweep the arms up for chair. Take your arms back behind you, shift forward and lift your heels. And then put the heels down and reach your arms up. Inhale. A couple more times, exhale, arms back, shift forward for drinking bird. Lift really high on the heels and then heels down, arms up. One more time, here we go, arms back, shift forward. Inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and step back into plank. Now we'll lower all the way down to the ground. Use your knees if you'd like. Untuck your toes. Lift up for cobra or any back bend that feels good for you. Take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Take an extra breath here with the leg lifted. Relax your head. Then step your foot between your hands for low lunge. Put your back heel down, rise up to warrior one. Sweep the arms up as you root into the back foot. Inhale, exhale, hands down to the ground. Step back to plank. Now you can lower all the way down like we just did, or if you know chaturanga, keep your elbows in by your ribs, lower down halfway. Hold, cobra again, or up dog. Downward facing dog. Breath in and release. Remember, simple thoughts. <sighs> Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. Put your back heel down. Rise up to warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to plank. Again, lower down halfway or all the way up dog or cobra and downward facing dog breath in and breath out to complete our sun salutation b let's look forward step or hop to the front of the mat lift up halfway fold forward chair pose sweep the arms up sit low for three two one, stand all the way up. Cactus the arms now, let's take a back bend. Inhale, reach the arms back up, come upright. Hands to your heart. Lift your left leg up. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, sit low for figure four. Shoulders back, sit back a little bit more and then rise up to one-legged mountain. Hands stay at your heart. And then take your leg back behind you for warrior three with hands at heart center in prayer. Left leg straight back. Draw the right hip back. Knit your ribs in and reach the crown of your head forward. Now we'll slowly step back to high lunge. Reach your arms up. Open arm twist to the right. Set your left hand down on the ground. Reach the right arm up. Slide your right foot over to the right and put your back knee down and open your right knee more to the right. So now we're in a lizard twist. Always an option to grab your back foot if you want that quad stretch, if it's there for you. Otherwise you could keep the arm up or push it into your thigh to open the thigh a little more. Push down into the top of the back foot if it's on the ground. Then bring your hands down to the ground from wherever you are. Tuck your toes and lift your back knee and come to three-legged dog. Your right leg goes all the way up and back. Bend your knee, open your hip, rise up onto your fingertips of your right hand and slowly flip your dog. Open the heart, the chest to the sky 
and bring it around to three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, knee to wrist for pigeon. So set your right leg down into pigeon. And we'll take a breath as we're upright. And walk your hands down. Fold forehead to the earth. Or whatever you need to do to feel comfortable here. Rise back up onto your hands, tuck your toes, and step back to downward facing dog. Look towards the front of the mat, step or hop forward. Lift up halfway, inhale, exhale, fold, grab onto the backs of your ankles so you get a little deeper. Inhale, stand, reach your arms up. Cactus your arms back, bend, open the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bring your hands to your heart and lift your right leg up. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh for standing figure four. Make sure that you're not leaning forward too much. You're really sitting back like you're in chair pose. We'll rise back up into a one-legged mountain. Keep your hands at your heart. Take your right leg straight back. Warrior three. Go slow. Just gaze towards the front of your mat so your neck is nice and long. And as slow as you can, step back to high lunge. Then reach your arms up. Open your left arm to the left or behind you. Reach your right arm forward. Put your right hand down. Left arm up, twist. Some of these movements that we're doing are so simple, yet so profound. And if they don't feel simple, that's okay too. Put your back knee down, slide your left foot over to the left, untuck your back toes. Now you can stay here or do any variation that you'd like. And release your hands back down to the ground. Lift your back knee. Step back to three-legged dog. Left leg goes up and back. Bend your knee, open your hip. Come up onto your left fingertips. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Wild thing, by stepping your left toes behind you and your chest is facing more towards the sky. Bring it back around to three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, pigeon, left knee to left wrist. Set your leg down, sit tall, and fold. Softening to the earth, softening to your day. And thank yourself for showing up to the mat, to your mat today. Setting the tone. This is how we heal. This is how we heal the world. Rise back up onto your hands. Tuck your toes on your back foot and step back to down dog. Set your knees down onto the ground and sit on your with your knees tucked under you, heels tucked under you, if you can. And if this isn't comfortable, come to a regular seated position. Hmm. We're going to kind of end with some neck stretching um, to help us settle down the nervous system before we move on. So bring your chin down to your chest and tilt your head to the right. So your chin is still down a little bit, but your head tilts to the right. And bring your chin back down to center and tilt your head to the left. Just notice how it feels.
Bring your chin back down. Bring your head up. And then tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. So this is more on the side of the neck versus the back. And if it feels like the mobility is limited, just note that. Just know so that we can be aware of what's going on in our bodies. Bring the head back to center. Tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. Notice how this side compares to the other. Bring your head back to center. Flip your palms up. Soften every muscle in your face. Feel how the chest gently rises and falls. And bring your thumb, your palms together at your heart, your thumbs touching your chest. And bring your thumbs up to your third eye. And we'll bow together in gratitude for this practice. Thank you.